Hey everybody, this is Daryl, aka The D from the Simply Incredible Podcast, and today I've got uh, a small comic book haul. Um, I've been backing off of uh, buying stuff online lately just because uh, it just seems to take forever to get here, so I've been cutting way back, but uh, I went to a shop and found some new books and then some books from a dollar bin and uh, some books from a, a quarter bin. I need to go back because they have a ton of quarter bin books that I, I might might have to dig deep into because there's no telling what's in those quarter bins. Uh, some of them aren't in you know mint condition. Um, you know, probably mostly just common books, but still, you know, you never know what you're going to find. Might find some good uh, hole fillers in there for your collection. So, anywho, anywho. First off, the, the books that were off the new rack, I did get the uh, Harley uh, Joker Harley, uh, Criminal Sanity. There we go. Uh, this is the C cover, I think. Uh, no, this is the B cover. So I went ahead and picked that up. Uh, I really love the art on this cover. I think it looks really cool. And the black label stuff so far has been really, really good. Uh, I finished the uh, first issue of Har uh, Harleen. I really liked it and really can't wait to see where all that goes because I think it's going to be really, really good. Um, I haven't started this one yet because, again, I just got it. So uh, we'll see where this goes. I, I kind of heard, I don't know if it's true, that I need to finish um, Heroes in Crisis, the nine-issue series. I'm uh, up to issue six. So only three issues to go on that. Then I'll jump into this. Even if I don't need to, I've, I've already done it. So, you know, you know, two birds, one stone. Uh, next, a new book. Uh, this is one, to be honest with you, uh, after I got it, I was like, why did I get that? Uh, I'm not reading the, the new X-Men stuff. Uh, I think the, the cover is cool, but to be honest with you, I'm getting kind of burnt out on certain artists um i just feel like every month they have multiple covers and after a while it's just like it's starting to run together for me uh like this art germ i think it's a spectacular cover but at the same time i'm just like it's another art germ cover um yeah and i know it sounds like i'm saying when i say that i'm it sounds like i'm coming off as it's not very good He's absolutely amazing, and every book he puts out, every cover is just phenomenal. But at the same time, I just feel like there's a little too much. And I feel like you just kind of pull back a little bit on it. Just just give it a little bit of uh, space. Um, make them feel more special. I, I think that's what I, I'm really looking at. Um, like uh, Adam Hughes, uh, back in the day, uh, you know, to find an Adam Hughes cover... He really only was having those Catwoman covers. Uh, now, it just seems like there's so much of the Ever who the hot, hot artist is of the time. Just feels like every month there's three, four of their covers. But I know I rambled on that. I apologize. <laughs> but anyway, uh, X-Men, this is a phenomenal art germ cover, even though I, I went on a five-minute rant. Okay, it wasn't five minutes, but that's not the point. Anyway, I apologize. Now for some of the quarter bins. Uh, 25 cent bin, Supergirl number 51. Uh, just about any time I find any of these covers that have the ripping off of the, the shirt, you know, to reveal that uh, S underneath, even though this is opposite of that, ripping off the uh, the Supergirl uh, outfit to reveal uh, just a regular button up shirt underneath. I love these covers. Anytime I find them, I try to get them. And this one was only a quarter. So heck yeah, I'm going to pick that up. All day, every day. Um, okay, maybe not all day, every day, because that would be a lot of money eventually. <laughs> but love this cover. Uh, Supergirl number 51. Uh, come out in uh, December of 2000. There we go. I think that's awesome. Uh, Marvel Masterpieces. Uh, speaking of Marvel Masterpieces, not just this cover, I am trying to find a box of the 1992 Marvel Masterpieces trading cards. These are hard to find for a good price. They seem to be going from $80 to $120. Uh, 
But most of them are around 90 to 100. It's like, gosh, I just can't pay that much for them. I see the 93, 94s are a little bit cheaper, but I just, I just want that 92 ones. <laughs> so maybe I can find that. But anyway, back to this. Uh, Joe Jusco, amazing cover. Uh, this Ghost Rider looks phenomenal. Uh, you know, old school, looks great. Uh, premiering five all new paintings under there. There we go. And this is number two. And I'm honestly, I'm not sure if this is the first volume or the second one of these. Because I know I have um, a couple from a, I think it's a different volume than this. So I got to look to see which volume is which on these. But yeah, when I, when I find these masterpieces, I definitely want to try to complete that run of those. That looks great. Uh, this one, <laughs> I just saw that. You can see it here. It's part of a Wendy's kids meal. I was like, you know what? I'll go ahead and pick that up for a quarter. Uh, Superman, Wonder Woman, number one. You know, you, you kind of don't find some of these kind of offbeat things like this too often. So I was like, you know what? Why not for a quarter? Uh, this one has definitely has some ticks down the spine, but that's okay. That's all right. Maybe some kid somewhere at Reddit. Who knows? There might be ketchup stains inside. I don't know. But <laughs> for only a quarter, yeah, I'll pick that up. Uh, next, Universal Soldier. I, I love the movies. Jean-Claude Van Damme. Absolutely loved them. Uh, the first one was uh, with uh, Dolph Lundgren in it. Uh, I think the second one had uh, Jay White. And uh, Goldberg was in one of them. And this one is actually in a poly bag. So I really hadn't ever seen this one before. Uh, it's got a little hologram for his eye, which looks awesome. Again, another <laughs> 25 cent bin. Uh, yeah, definitely pick that up for only a quarter. So there we go. Uh, this is one I've got a few of, but I don't know why. I love this cover. Got the kind of embossed Superman logo on the front. And I've bought... I should probably have about three of them now, three or four of them. There was actually a few more of these in the 25 cent bin. If I go back, I'll, I'll probably pick up one or two more. Actually, one of my friends is uh, getting married this weekend, or yeah, this coming weekend. You know, maybe I'll give them one. Hey, you know what? The wedding album. Why not? <laughs> I was like, yeah, that was really expensive. Don't watch the video. <laughs> there we go. And now the dollar bin stuff. Yeah, the dollar bin items. You know what? This one right here is going to the back. It's going to the back. <laughs> uh, Terminator, the Burning Earth uh, trade paperback. Uh, I've got the set of them, but I've never had the trade. And for those who don't know, this is the first work, uh, published work of Alex Ross. In here, known as Alexander Ross. There we go. Right there. Alexander Ross. His uh, fir first published work right here. There you go. So I'm like, you know what? I don't have the trade. I'll pick the trade up. Again, dollar bin for the trade. And we got a set of them. Out of the dollar bins. Uh, issue one, his actual first published work, not a super expensive book, uh, actually not really expensive at all. Um, I see him going for five to 10 bucks, but, um, you know, anytime I find this in a dollar bin, any one of these issues in this set, I'm generally going to try to pick them up, uh, just cause I love his artwork and and I, I was just talking about Art Germ, how um, it seems like he's got too much stuff out. Um, as much as I love Alex Ross, I, I see him doing a lot of stuff recently, the last uh, year or so. And I can't blame him. You got to make that money. Got to make them bucks. There you go. Issue two. There you go. This is a newsstand issue. I'm not sure if, uh, if they had... Um, Direct editions on these. I don't. I don't know if they did or not. See, this one's got this on it, and 
Most of them, it seems like I find has the blank on here. So I'm actually not even sure what that means, to be honest with you. I'm not sure if all of them, um, you know, contain both. I'm not sure. Issue three. There we go. Terminated the Burning Earth. Alex Ross, first published work. There we go. Uh, next is issue four. There you go. So I would really like to get, if there is both of them with the white and with the uh, newsstand, I would like to get both of them, uh, of each issue, just because that'd just be cool for me. Being such a huge fan. There we go. Looks amazing. Of course, it's Alex Ross. Of course, it looks amazing. And issue five. I was looking for something on here. On here somewhere. Okay, here it is. I was looking at my uh, C CLZ app, and one of the things they said about this being a key issue, and I find this baffling to me how this is a key, but if you look in the this little code here, one of the things it was, it was saying that if you see right here, if you spell it backwards, C-O-M-I-X, comics, B-L-O-Z. <laughs> now... I don't know if that, you know, that's something that was meant or anything. It actually says now, now comics, B L O Z. <laughs> yeah, it's one of those things that makes me laugh. I don't really know if they, you know, meant anything by it or not, if that was even on purpose. I just find that funny. Uh, next, uh, DC Comics presents number one Batman. And this is always good fun. <laughs> Hotline call, Batman, let's get going. Not tonight, kid. I'm staying in the Batcave and watch myself on TV. <laughs> like that, watch the old school 1966 Batman. <laughs> That's great. So there we go. Again, dollar bin, why not? And last, uh, this one is a, uh, some of those really hard issues of justice. And another issue, I found it in a dollar bin. This is the second printing of Justice issue uh, issue two. That's an awesome Alex Ross Batman cover. There you go. So, yeah, uh, the second printings on these things are very hard to come by. So, very happy I, I found this one. And I would like to find uh, all the second printings out of these, but again, really hard to find. So pretty psyched about that. So that's my uh, little comic book haul. Uh, now that I didn't even think about this, but uh, very heavy on Alex Ross art. Got that, uh, that second printing right there. The complete set of Terminator, uh, his first work. Plus the uh, the trade paperback, which again I've I've never had that, so that's cool. And then these other issues, plus a, a couple of new issues. So we'll set this down right there. There we go. So uh, that's all we got. Alex Ross, Alex Ross, and other goodness. I guess that's what we'll say. Uh, finally, I found some cool stuff in the cheap bins. It's been a while, but th that's all I got. And you guys. Have an incredible day.